Imagine driving an electric car without ever worrying about the risk of a battery fire. Sounds too good to be true, right? But that's exactly what's shaking up the market. Tesla's aluminum ion battery, promised for 2026, is breaking new ground with a bold proposal. Three promises that, on their own, would be revolutionary. The first is the most impactful, zero fire risk. The second, no batteries dying before 15,000 cycles. And finally, a guarantee that blows away the competition. No real limit on supplies. The fear that was once the consumers is now all about the competition. And this paradigm shift didn't come out of nowhere. Tesla has been studying alternatives to lithium for years, which has already caused enough scares. Between exploding portable chargers and e-bikes catching fire in the middle of the city, lithium has a turbulent history. In 2022, in the United States alone, more than 1 million lithium-ion battery units were recalled due to the risk of explosion. And as much as companies try to circumvent the situation with cooling systems and sensors, the problem lies at its core. Lithium's chemical composition isn't safe enough for the desired electric future. Tesla's response came as a calculated coup. By abandoning flammable electrolytes and opting for a pure aluminum core, the company made a game-changing move. Unlike lithium, aluminum doesn't undergo violent reactions at high temperatures. In fact, it remains functional up to 250 degrees, twice the safe range for lithium. This natural heat resistance eliminates the risk of spontaneous ignition. And do you know what that means? No more worries about burned out garages, accidents during rapid charging, and that silent fear of leaving your car in the sun for too long. And it doesn't stop there. By eliminating the use of flammable liquids, the aluminum battery also eliminates one of the biggest culprits in today's batteries, internal short circuits caused by overheating. This is possible because aluminum, in addition to withstanding more heat, doesn't accumulate energy uncontrollably. It dissipates heat more intelligently. And because it doesn't react violently under thermal stress, the risk of collapse is minimal. It's like swapping a stick of dynamite for a block of stone. The tension simply disappears. The impact of this on daily life is enormous. Drivers in hot regions like Texas, Florida, or the Arizona deserts face brutal temperatures throughout the summer. With lithium batteries, this heat becomes a constant threat, capable of triggering dangerous reactions inside the vehicle. With aluminum, however, the scenario changes completely. Even driving for 12 to 14 hours under scorching sun, the battery remains stable without overheating or hidden risks. And this changes the driving experience the car ceases to be a worry and once again becomes a safe means of transportation. Another point worth highlighting is the proposal to reverse the fear. Until now, it was consumers who felt threatened by batteries. But with this new technology, it's competitors who are starting to tremble. After all, how can you defend a product that's inferior in safety, durability, and raw material availability? Brands still betting on lithium will need to reinvent themselves quickly or fall behind. And in this scenario, Tesla isn't just positioning itself as a pioneer. It's planting a flag at the top and challenging others to catch up. There's also a question of trust. Anyone who buys an electric car today knows they're buying evolving technology, with risks still being addressed. But with the aluminum battery, this relationship changes. The driver feels in control, not held hostage by unstable technology. The peace of mind of driving a vehicle that can't easily catch fire, even in extreme situations, adds weight to the choice of an electric car. The experience becomes synonymous with safety and, more than that, peace of mind. And if Elon Musk's promise is fulfilled by 2026, it will be the most significant shift in the automotive industry since electric cars emerged as a real alternative. Because it's not just about improving what already exists, but about eliminate the consumer's biggest fear with a single move. And the most curious thing is that, even with all this innovation, Tesla managed to do it with an element 
that has always been present in our daily lives, good old aluminum. But now, it may be about to redefine the future of mobility. The new battery's true strength lies not only in the material itself, but in the way it is shaped. Tesla developed a three-dimensional, honeycomb-shaped aluminum cathode, a design that, at first glance, seems aesthetically exaggerated, but is in practice a functional revolution. This microscopic hexagonal structure increases the cathode's surface area by up to five times, which in itself significantly increases ion exchange efficiency. But what's even more surprising is how this design also solves the heat problem, spreading the temperature much more effectively than lithium models. This type of structure acts as a massive heat sink embedded within the battery. The honeycomb architecture creates thousands of microchannels that conduct heat away from the most sensitive areas, preventing the formation of hot spots, the infamous hot spots that are often the source of catastrophic failures. The heat, which previously accumulated and threatened to spark, now simply dissipates as if the battery were breathing. This causes the battery body itself to function as a passive cooling system without the need for extra components or complicated gadgets. Another element that ensures this thermal stability is the nanoceramic layer applied to the cathode. Just zero, five micrometers thick, about 100 times thinner than a strand of hair. This invisible film smooths the aluminum surface and guides the ions precisely. It's like swapping a bumpy dirt road for a high-speed track. This fluidity in ion transport prevents internal congestion, reduces electrical resistance, and prevents energy accumulation at specific points where overheating would normally begin. And then comes one of the biggest villains in lithium batteries, dendrites. These metallic microstructures form inside the battery cell and grow like invisible spikes, piercing internal layers until they cause short circuits. Their presence is almost impossible to detect before the damage is done. But in the case of aluminum, dendrites, they simply do not form. The movement of ions is so uniform and well distributed that there is no environment conducive to the appearance of these faults. It's like eliminating the pest by the roots before it even sprouts. This simplifies the entire battery design. No more thick metal shields, temperature control systems, tubes, sensors, or built-in refrigerators. What was once a cumbersome and expensive mess is now a lightweight, integrated structure. And the fewer parts, the lower the chance of failure. This allows the car to be lighter, more efficient, with greater range, and even cheaper to produce. Instead of adding layers of safety around the danger, Tesla chose to eliminate the danger from the start. The absence of flammable electrolytes also changes the scenario in accidents. Today, when a lithium battery ruptures in a collision, the risk is immediate. The liquid leaks, comes into contact with oxygen, and can ignite or explode. With an aluminum battery, even if a fracture occurs, there's no flammable material circulating inside. The damage is contained. Energy doesn't spread uncontrollably, and passengers gain precious seconds, or even minutes, to act or receive help. It's a huge leap in safety. And even under normal conditions of use, this new design already transforms the driver's experience. No more strange battery noises in the heat. No more overheating warning messages. No more performance loss after sitting in the sun for a while. Everything works so naturally that the driver barely remembers there's a battery underneath. And that, ironically, is the highest compliment a technology can receive works so well that it becomes invisible. Tesla's approach shows that true security isn't achieved with alarms and barriers. It's achieved with design intelligence and by using a structure that mimics nature's own patterns, like a bee's honeycomb, the brand not only solves a technical problem, but also creates an elegant, efficient, and scalable solution. The danger no longer resides within the battery. It now resides within competitors who still insist on technologies that should have been surpassed by now. With such a promising design, Tesla left no doubt 
it was time to put everything to the test. That's when extreme testing began, simulating the worst case scenarios an electric vehicle could face. Frontal crashes, side crashes, rollovers, falls from heights, and external fires. Everything was done to push the battery to its limits, and the results impressed even the company's most skeptical engineers. The fire risk rate dropped to zero, 0.5%, the equivalent of only one case in every 2,000 extreme collisions. Just for comparison, lithium batteries present a risk 50 times greater, around 2.5% in these same tests. This data alone would be enough to attract attention. But what's truly surprising is the aluminum battery's performance in these tests. Even under heavy impact, the internal cells reach a maximum of 70 dadesiters to 80 dadesiters, a temperature considered safe. And even if they break or crack, there is no flammable liquid that could leak and ignite. It's a kind of natural containment. Even if damaged, the battery remains stable. There's no cascade effect, no chain reaction. The damage stays contained without causing further problems. Now imagine this kind of safety applied to everyday life. In the scorching Texas summers, the unshaded Arizona roads, or even the gridlocked Miami traffic, where car interior temperatures easily exceed 50 gravers a dire C, 122 degrees, lithium batteries live on the edge. Aluminum batteries, on the other hand, remain cool. Even when used continuously for 14 hours in extreme heat, they don't exceed 60 degrees C, 144 degrees break feeds. This means no more fears that your car might overheat or even catch fire simply from being exposed to the sun for too long. And it's not just heat that stops being a villain. On long trips, especially when driving hundreds of kilometers in a row, friction, vibration, and pressure in the cells increase. In older batteries, this means accumulated thermal stress and an increased risk of failure. With aluminum, the opposite happens. The material dissipates this heat efficiently and remains functional without suffering sudden degradation. It's as if the car is saying, keep going, I can handle more. This brings new confidence behind the wheel, especially for those traveling with children or the elderly. Another important point is the battery's behavior in real-world crashes outside the controlled laboratory environment. In documented serious accidents involving test prototypes, the aluminum battery not only withstood the impact, as it kept the car energized long enough to activate the safety systems and even allow the occupants to exit safely. With lithium, the time is short, seconds before the fire starts. With aluminum, the car buys time. And time, in critical moments, can mean the difference between life and death. This advancement also has a direct impact on insurance costs. With such a low risk rate, insurers can revise their criteria. This means that, in the future, a car with an aluminum battery could have cheaper policies and more accessible. Furthermore, repair shops and rescue teams will have fewer concerns about emergency protocols for electric cars. Less risk, less cost, and more peace of mind for everyone involved. It's a positive cycle that begins in the laboratory and reaches the pockets of everyday drivers. And for those who live in regions with unstable climates, such as temperature spikes, storms, or even floods, the advantage goes beyond temperature. The absence of flammable electrolytes and the robust design make the aluminum battery more resistant to moisture, corrosion, and mechanical shocks caused by vibrations and jolts. All of this contributes to more predictable and reliable performance, even in the worst conditions. The truth is, with this new technology, Tesla didn't just solve a problem. It rewrote the concept of vehicle safety. The electric car has gone from being a laboratory experiment to a mobile fortress. And this changes not only the way we drive, but also how we trust what's beneath our feet. Safety, once promised in slogans, is now built molecule by molecule inside each battery cell. After conquering the safety throne, Tesla moves into another previously unreachable territory, absurd, useful life of the new battery. And when we say absurd, it's not an exaggeration. 
We're talking about 3 million miles, or about 4.8 million kilometers. This in practice is like traveling around the planet Earth 120 times. Under normal conditions, with 12,000 miles per year, this battery would last over 200 years. In other words, the battery outlives the car, the owner, the owner's child, and is still going strong. It's such a profound change that ends the concept of batteries as consumable items. This longevity isn't magic. It comes from the use of a gel electrolyte with a boiling point of 300 trithorexy, which doesn't evaporate, degrade, or form solid residue. This prevents the buildup of deposits on the internal plates, the so-called degradation effect, which reduces the capacity of lithium batteries with each cycle. In conventional batteries, performance begins to decline after 300,000 to 500,000 miles. In the case of aluminum, even after 20,000 complete recharge cycles, the battery holds up to 90% of its original capacity, without oscillations. Another factor is performance at high temperatures. Lithium batteries, when forced to charge quickly, overheat and lose efficiency. Aluminum, on the other hand, behaves better the hotter it is. This allows it to accept much higher currents without the risk of overheating. The result? Ultra-fast recharges without compromising cell health. The new battery can reach 80% charge in about 3 minutes and reach 100% in less than 5 a feat that annihilates any current competition. This recharge time changes everything. Drivers who previously had to plan 30 points to 60 minute stops can now plan a quick coffee break while their car recharges. For commercial fleets and urban transportation, this meansless time stopped, more time running, and because degradation from heat and rapid charging virtually disappears, the operating costs of maintaining these vehicles also plummet. Durability translates into real savings, without tricks or disguised maintenance. At the same time, this extreme durability redefines the electric car's life cycle. Today, the car dies before the battery. With aluminum, it will be the opposite. The car leaves and the battery remains useful. This opens a new era for the used car market. Owners can trade in their cars and keep the battery. Dealerships can sell cars with certified batteries, with decades of service still ahead of them. And there are even possibilities for using these batteries in homes, energy storage, or even electric planes. This shift also drastically reduces the automotive industry's environmental impact. If a single battery can last for centuries, fewer batteries need to be produced. Fewer natural resources are extracted, and less electronic waste is generated. Furthermore, aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on the planet, found in soda cans, windows, and even airplanes. This makes the production process more sustainable and less dependent on unstable supply chains, such as lithium or cobalt. For consumers, this translates into predictability. No longer will they buy a car fearing when they'll need to replace the battery. The car is no longer a product with an expiration date, but a long-term asset. And this changes the consumer's perceived value. A vehicle with a 3 million mile battery, it is more reliable, easier to resell, and more valued over time. After all, who wouldn't want a car that never runs out of steam? When it comes to batteries, what was once a source of concern has become one of the car's greatest assets. And the most curious thing of all is how a single technical advancement, made cell by cell, was able to break down all the psychological barriers that still existed about electric vehicles. From this point on, it's no exaggeration to say that 